Let somebody shout hallelujah. Happy New Year to you all our viewers at home. You're welcome into this beautiful, brand new, anointed year 2017. We bless God for your life. I thank God that you made it into the new year. This is the Redeemed Christian Church of God. My name is Gabriel Koka. I'll be your host as usual for this awesome Sunday school session of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, where we look into where we look deep into the Bible, where we search deep into the Bible to look at what the Word of God has to say to us. But just before we start on today, let's quickly look at the topic that is set before us, which is a very, very practical topic. And the topic we'll be talking about today is forgiving one another. Yes, you heard me right. Forgiving one another. How can we forgive one another? Is it that easy to forgive one another? We will look a little bit into that in a jiffy. And as you know, as always, we always have guests in the studio who will help us talk about this topic. But right before we move along, let's look at the memory verse that is set for us today. And our memory verse for today is taken from the book of Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32, which reads, And be ye kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake has forgiven you. Let's take a look at what the topics we have dealt with from the time we started this new session. The very first topic we have for this year was acceptable Christian worship. What are the things we need to do so that God will accept our worship? And secondly, we spoke about the art of gratitude. What does it mean to have a heart of gratitude? That means to have a, an attitude of appreciation. And right after that, we also spoke about the only one God, the only one God that we ought to serve, the only one God that we need to lift up our eyes onto all the time. And lastly, after that one, we spoke about separation, which is being separated unto God and to God alone so that your worship can be acceptable unto him. Then right after that, I remember this topic very well. We also dealt with the pursuit of God. Who, what does it mean to pursue God? How can we pursue God? Why do we need to pursue God? And right after that, we also spoke about the God chasers. I love this one the most, the God chasers. We also looked at examples of those who chased after God. Who are those? Why do we need to chase after God? Who is this God that we need to chase after? And right after that, we looked into a topic that you and I are faced with on a daily basis. And I'm sure you remember that. Yes, you are right. That same topic I'm talking about, and that is temptation. It's what you and I face every day. We face temptation, and we concluded on that very topic that temptation is not a sin, but yielding to temptation is a sin. And I remember very well that pastor that held or dealt with that topic is even in the studio with us today when he said to us that there is a difference between temptation and a test. And right after that, we also spoke about overcoming temptation. And it was such a relief for you and I to know that, yes, it is possible for us to overcome temptation. Right after temptation on, on lesson 9, we spoke about adultery and fornication. I can imagine so many of us were hiding our faces because, no, don't worry, you, know, you don't need to hide. Confess it before God. We spoke about description and causes of adultery and fornication. It was actually a two-part story. Right after that, we spoke about dangers and antidote of adultery and fornication. Then, what a relief now came thereafter. We spoke about victory over sin. How can you and I overcome this sin? Somebody defines sin as simple in nature. How can we overcome it? We dealt with it and it was such a relief. It was such a relief. And rightly, after that, we dealt with a topic that you and I are also guilty of, which has to do with restitution. That is to say, giving back to the owner what was falsely taken from them, restoring back. Yes, it is important for you and I to restore back to the owner what, was, what, we, have what we took from them unjustly. And I really believe most of us were blessed at that topic. Right after that was where we had our uh, Sunday school review. And after that, we spoke about living right. After living right, we spoke about virtue. After virtue, we spoke about standout, which was last week. What does it mean to stand out? Go back to last week's episode, you will understand. Oh, the previous, not the last week, the previous one where we spoke about standard. And lastly, last week, we spoke about God's chast chastening. God's chastening, that is discipline. How does God discipline us? And also, how do we discipline our children? That is how far we have gone. And in this brand new year, we want to start with forgiving one another. Isn't it a lovely way to start? 
Stay with us. We'll be right back after the break and we will look deeply into how can you and I forgive one another. Stay right where you are. We'll be right back. God bless you. Welcome back from that short break to our viewers at home once again. I wish you all a happy new year. My prayer for you is that God of heaven will make this year a prosperous year for you, a good year. You will not live 2017 the way you live 2016. 2017 will be a better year for you in Jesus' name. Right with me in the studio, I have two guests, my sister here and my brother over there. Firstly, let me wish you happy new year. I pray that it will be a prosperous one for you in Jesus' name. Amen. I'll ask you shortly after to tell us how, how, how the year has been so far. But before we start, this is uh, one of our sisters here, a member of Redeemed Christian Church of God in Dominion Chapel, South Africa. She's actually a Sunday school teacher. That's why we, we have her here by the name of Sister Josephine Tolu. And on my far right over there is one of our ministers also in the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Dekin Tunde. Okunlade, you're welcome to the show, sir. Thank the you, The Lord sir. bless you. Amen. Just before we start, since though, tell me, how is the year so far? The year has been good. I'm grateful to God for His grace upon my family, for His grace upon our church. We did not, we did not bury anyone this year. Hallelujah. And uh, we, we got answers to our prayers. Amen. So thank God for that. Amen. Thank you very much for that. Brother Tunde, what do you have to say? Tell our viewers at home how your year, I know it's the first day of the year. How has it been so far to breathe a, 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 new, a new air? <laughs> yeah, it, uh, thank you, Pastor. It's been wonderful. Mm. Uh, coming into a new year mm. with new promises from Amen. God. Amen. With new assurance Hallelujah. that uh, the year is going to bring forth uh, a lot of blessing, Amen. Uh, prosperity, Amen. and uh, you know, we are going to have impact on our wow. environment, wow. you know, in the new year. So Amen. I'm excited Hallelujah. about the new year. Hallelujah. In fact, it shows all over. That's your suit alone. <laughs> it looks as if it should belong in my wardrobe. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. And to our viewers at home, you've heard it from them, everybody, each and every one of us. We're having a fabulous year so far. But just before we start today, may I invite Sister Josephine to please give us an opening prayer. Thank you, in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, Lord, we thank you, O oh Lord, for another opportunity you are giving unto us to study your word. We thank you, O oh God, for this word that we are going to study. We call on you, O oh Lord, to yes. come and teach us yourself in Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. We soak ourselves in the name of Jesus, and Amen. we pray, O oh God, that this word that we are going to study today will impact our viewers and Amen. our life in the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. I like that. That gentle voice. I wish I could have such a voice. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Sister Joe. Now, just before we start, I would like us to go quickly into our Bible reading for today, which is taken from the book of Colossians chapter 3, verse 12 to 13. Colossians chapter 3, verse 12 to 13. And it reads, Therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, put on tender mercies, kindness, humility, meekness, long-suffering, Bearing with one another, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If anyone has a complaint against another, even as Christ forgave you, so you must do. Wow. If anyone has complaint against another, even as Christ forgave you, so you must do also. Let me start with Brother Tunde. What can you say about this topic? Uh, the, the topic is simply uh, encouraging us as Christians mm. that whatever happens mm. in our relationship with one mm. another, mm. we should endeavor to forgive one another. Mm. We should, you know, it mentioned something about forbearing one mm. another, which mm. means we need to suffer long mm. with, suffer each, long. Or, yes, with mm. each other because we came from different background, wow. our understanding, 
they are different. Mm. Our ideas, they yeah, are different. Right. Our views our are bringing yeah, also. Yeah, they are different. Mm. Our views are different. Mm. So there's tendency that we might offend each One other okay. while, while walking in the vineyard of God. Okay. But whatever the case, should there learn. should be no grudges. We should wow. learn Thank to forgive much one another. Thank you very much. Thank you. The Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Moving right along, Sister uh, Josephine, if you look at what verse 13 has to say, it says, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If anyone has a complaint against another, even as Christ forgave you, so you must do. How easy it is to forgive one another, to forgive somebody that offends you? I think we need to think about Christ himself. This, the, that verse says that as Christ himself, as Christ himself forgave us, it means that we should be able to give back what mm. Christ gave, gave us. Mm. Christ forgave us by coming and carrying our sins for mm. us. It, uh, that means that we need also to do the same. Mm. That means also we need to forgive no matter how difficult. Just as Sister Josephine just said now that Christ forgave us. He came to bear our sins. He forgave us. Even while he was still on the cross, we still sinned against him. Because he requested for water and they gave him sour vinegar. He, still, he said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. So our viewers at home, let's quickly look into the introduction that is set before us today, which says, to forgive means to pardon, to waive any negative feeling or desire for punishment. That, according to Matthew chapter 18, verse 25 to 27. Matthew 18, 25 to 27. In other words, forgiveness is the intentional and voluntary process by which the offended undergoes a change in feelings and attitude regarding an offense. Let go of negative emotions such as, such as vengefulness, bitterness, malice, and so forth with an increased ability to wish the offender well. Brother Tunde, what do you have to say about this? Yeah, I think uh, the definition there mm -hmm. uh, and the explanation in the introduction, mm -hmm. we should uh, not be angry. Uh, we, should not, we should stop being angry with, with our fellow brethren because he mm -hmm. said we should not be vengeful. Hmm. It means that when somebody hurts you, hmm. you get annoyed hmm. because of the feeling. Hmm. You are hurt. Hmm. But when you forgive, hmm. a step has to be taken hmm. not to cease from your anger. Hmm. And uh, with bowels of mercy, hmm. you, you forgive the person. With bowels, bowels of, of mercy, mercy you, forgive you forgive the person. The person. From yeah. what you just said now, Brother Tunde, I remember the scripture in the Bible that says that we, should be, we can be angry but we should sin not. not, and that we should not allow the sun to, to go, go down, down on our run. Yeah. Sister Joe, can you help us here? It says we should let go of negative emotions such as vengefulness, bitterness, malice, and so on. What do you have to say about that? Yeah. It will give you stress every time you see hmm. that person. Hmm. It will put you in prison. Hmm. That's why you should let go. Hmm. Let go completely. That's it, right. hmm? Because you, that person takes control of you. Hmm. You know, that anger will take control of you. You will not be responsible of your action anymore. Mm. And I pray mm. that you shouldn't be so in Jesus. Name. Amen. Just as the Bible makes us understand in the book of Psalm that a merry heart does like a good medicine, but a broken spirit dries up the bone. So, brothers and sisters, just as Sister Joe said, now just before, before we go on this break, she said that if you keep malice, it can cause sickness, it can cause stress, because each time you see that fellow, you remember what that person, I know it's not easy, to forgive but pray and ask the Holy Spirit and I like what a brother today said that out of the bowel how did you bowels say it again? of mercy bowels of mercy it, it simply means that mercy will just can flow. help you mm. to easily forgive to mercy. when you are merciful mm. you can easily mm. mercy is like uh, what you need mm. to help you overcome the pain, mm. then you can forgive. Wow, wow. Mercy. Thank you very much, Brother Tunde. Mercy. I like the way it's still, I still may not be able to say. Let's take this short break and we'll be right back and we will look in depth into the topic that is set before us today. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Most of the time, we need a session of prayers privately in a quiet and sacred place without any form of interruption. Be it a group prayer, 
personal prayer session, family prayer session, whichever. Now you can have your own time, space and chance to talk to your creator without any disturbance at the Mount Carmel Prayer Village, which is situated at Okeso along Ife Road, Ifewara, Oshun State. Don't bother about accommodation. There are different forms of accommodation we have for you. There is a two-bedroom flat, chalet which is a room and a parlor, single room, dormitory, conference hall, sanctuary, prayer hall, prayer hut and 12 disciples. All these are available at affordable prices. For more inquiries, visit www.mtcamelprayer.com. You can send an email to mtcamelprayerv at gmail.com. You can also call plus 234-815-877-8513. Psalms 107 verse 28 to 30. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He made the storm be still, and the waves of the sea were hushed. Then they were glad that the waters were quiet, and it brought them to their desired heaven. Prayer is the master key. from that short break i believe you are still in the new year mood everything is still bubbling you're still happy and i'm sure most of you right now you're on your way to church right now some people are already at church right now we're just here to disseminate this message of our lord jesus christ talking about forgiving one another that you should not hold vengeance and you should not take vengeance you should not hold bitterness against anybody because it will help your sister i just said to ross before we went on break that if you keep malice if you keep unforgiveness in your heart it can bring stress it can it can cause unrelief unto you and you don't want that to happen to you and more so you may not go to heaven if you hold on to unforgiveness and she prayed just she said i pray that that will not be your portion in jesus name i allude to that prayer now it will not be your portion in jesus name Amen. now moving right along let's look at some of the scriptures below that will encourage believers in how to forgive people and once again i'm going to start with you brother today it says here that many of your offenders do not know what they are doing and also that many were compelled to do what they did because they were under influence it could be any type of influence what do you have to say to our viewers at all um i would like to say that um it's true, many of our actions or many of the actions of uh, offenders, offenders mm -hmm. could come as a result of bad influences mm -hmm. or circumstances beyond their control. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the, the, the first instance in the book of Luke 23, mm -hmm. uh, 34, mm -hmm. when Jesus was nailed to the cross. Mm -hmm. People thought they were doing the right thing. Mm. They were defending like the religion, mm. the Jewish religion, mm. but they thought they were doing the, the right mm. thing, but it was actually wrong. Mm. They were unknowingly to them, mm. they were crucifying their Lord mm. out of a, a, a good mind, religious mm. mind. So mm. you can see that some people could do things out of compulsion, out of um, uh, influence, negative influence. So that means that we should not hold uh, them accountable, mm. like Jesus so prayed. It's, it's because of the influence they were under. Yeah, they were not I, in the right frame of frame mind. Of mind at that but they time. think they are. They are. You want to say something, Sister? I wanted to say that so it could be a lack of knowledge. As well. mm. Which in, 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 indeed mm. it yes, is lack of it knowledge. Is. It is. Mm. And the it Bible is. says that our, our people are perishing. For lack because of, of lack of, of knowledge. knowledge very good now while you are still on that topic let me now come to you i'm sure you remember the story of the prodigal son yes. now let's listen to what it says here it says not right no right thinking person mm. will seek the food of the swine mm. many of your offenders are not in their right frame of mind like the prodigal son what do you have to say about him and how do you link this to forgiveness i believe we're drawing towards his father mm -hmm. how do you link the two together uh, uh, we all know the 
the story of a prodigal son who requested for his share while the father was still alive. And he blew it, he blew it. But what came in mind is that he came back to the father and he, he, he asked for forgiveness. Yes. And the father forgave him hmm. because he knew that it, the, the son did not have the right mind. Hmm. You cannot request for your inheritance when your father is still, still alive. alive. Yes. So hmm. I hmm. think that wow. that is what we should pick from wow. that. I mean, let's oh yes. I, yes. I would like to also contribute that in the case of the prodigal son, mm. he came to realization. He came to his senses. To his senses mm. at a point in, in his time. life. Yes. And he decided to go back to his father. Mm. So mm. we can encourage our people that when someone who offended you realizes mm. that he has offended you mm. and he has asked for forgiveness, mm. please forgive hmm. because you see many people when when somebody has offended them and he has come for, for ask for forgiveness say no hmm. over my dead body hmm. till we get to heaven hmm. oh, unfortunately <laughs> uh, which heaven are you talking yeah, about yeah, because of unforgiveness yes unfortunately hmm. there is no hmm. uh, settling of you can't settle quarrel in, in heaven. heaven you want yeah. to say something yeah, this I, I wanted to say for what you say that when somebody comes back you mm -hmm. know you need to win that person yes you know, by forgiving yes. you are winning that person Amen. the father won back his son, his son. Wow. you know yes. he hmm. recovered his son the as son difficult as it may be to forgive him yes. because he had already parted with his inheritance okay. he still embraced him yes. he killed the fattest a uh, calf, calf or is a calf or cow or whatsoever for yeah, him yeah. wow that's good thank you very much sister joe for for saying that now brother dekentunde you made mention of being vengeful earlier on now it says to us here that vengeance belongs to god and not to you please expatiate on that um uh, i want our viewers to understand that god is principled mm. and uh, god will always avenge his own mm. more so justice belongs to, to god. god so you don't need to fight your battle yourself mm. if someone offends you and he or she asks for forgiveness try as much as possible prayerfully forgive the person and if on the other hand mm. someone has something against you mm. and you are unable after pleading for forgiveness and the person refuses to forgive you just leave it to god very good and don't hold grudges i think I like and allow approach. god mm. to have his way thank you very yeah. much thank you very much now since joe let me come back to you it says here god will punish sinners including those who use you wrongly or those who refuse to repent one day one day please encourage our viewers at all yes we, when you go to the scripture in second peter 2.9, hmm. the, the Bible says that the Lord, the Lord will rescue godly, his children, the hmm. godly, and he, will, and he will punish the sinners. Hmm. It means that God is there for hmm. you. God hmm. is your advocate. He's your hmm. lawyer. Hmm. You don't need anybody else. Hmm. So just let go and God will be there to punish the sinners. Because no sinners will go to heaven. Just as Brother Tunde said earlier, that hmm. some people say, when we get to heaven, we will settle this cause. Hmm. Be, be, be well informed today. If Jesus comes and you hold any grudge against anybody, no, you, you won't go there. That's the honest truth. So as much as possible, learn to forgive. Sister Joe, I'm still going to stay on you one more time. Now I want you to help our viewers at home. It says they love those enemies who despitefully use you and hate you. What do you have to say to that? They ask us to do that. God, uh, Jesus said, love your enemy as yourself. Love your neighbors as yourself. It means that your enemy is also your neighbor. So do good to them. Even if they did do good to them, and God mm. will, will, will reward you. There's a reward in heaven. Mm. There's but a reward. In there's a reward. In, I have what to say, Sister Jo, but okay. it's easier said than done. Brother, today, yeah. help me out here. Yeah. It says, love those enemies mm -hmm. who despitefully use and listen to this, who despitefully and hate you. Somebody hates me and I must still love him. I know this one doesn't like me, he's my enemy. And I must still, ah, ah, come on, let's be realistic here. Help me out here. We need to really, really break this down. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I want to say that it's not easy, humanly mm. speaking. Mm. Looking at our nature as human beings, mm. as humans, it's mm. not easy to love someone that hates you, mm. someone that persecutes you, mm. or someone that uses you for mm. his benefit. Mm. Like, let, let's give an example. An employee mm. to an employer. Mm. Okay, so an I like employer that. Will use their employees mm. without good uh, mm. benefit, mm. and therefore the employees are not happy. Yes. They, it will be difficult for them to pray for their employer. <laughs> but they, despite that, despite that, the Lord still commands us mm. to love, love them against and all odds. Against all odds, and mm. that's where the grace of God. Comes, comes in. in. I like that. The oh. grace of the God, grace of God comes, in comes in to help us. So, in other to words, do that. brother Tunde, you're saying that we should ask God to give us the ability, the ability. to learn to forgive, exactly, to learn to let go. Because yes. honestly speaking, the topic we're dealing with this morning, it's something that is practical. Mm -hmm. I mean, you and I is not easy. I mean, listen to what I said earlier. Mm -hmm. Somebody that despises you, somebody that hates you, and you must love him or her back. It's not that easy. But as Brother Tunde and Sister Joe have said to us this morning, let us learn to seek God. Let us learn to ask God. Let us learn to find a way to let go. Just as Sister Joe spoke about the prodigal, uh, the prodigal son's father, who forgave him, he forgave his son of all he did. He embraced him the same way. Look for that strength from within and God will help you. And I have a testimony. Okay. I have a testimony. Can I hold on to that testimony? Right after we come back from break, I'm going to ask you for that testimony. Let's just take a quick commercial break and we'll be right back. And we will take Sister Joe's testimony and we will look at evidences of forgiveness. Okay. Thank you very much. back from that short break i hope you're really learning a lot this morning you're learning in how i know as we said earlier i mean we cannot stress it enough that it's not easy to forgive one another but brother tunde said to us earlier that we should ask for the grace to learn to forgive just before we went on break mm -hmm. sister joe was going to share a testimony with us mm -hmm. sister joe please proceed yes i wanted to talk about my relationship with my father uh, I grew up with my mom, my father did not take care of me. It was very, very difficult to mm. let go. And uh, I just found out that God, with time, just gave me the grace, you know, to, to let go. Normally I would go home, I would not even see him, I would just send something mm. to him. But recently mm. I went home and I went to see him and mm. we cried and we had mm. to at each other. Mm. I thank God for that, mm. that he gave me the grace to let, to go, let go. To let go. That's what I wanted to share. Look, that's very practical. Mm. Very, very practical. It's not easy. Honestly speaking, it's not easy to, 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 to forgive. Mm. But if you ask God, God will help us to forgive those 
who despise us, who, who hate us, yes. those who wrongfully use us, those who we can even count as parasites. Yes. God will give us the grace yes. to forgive them. Well, thank you very much for sharing that testimony with us, sister. I, I pray that God will restore your relationship with your Amen. father Amen. in Jesus' Amen. name. Now, let us quickly look at why should we forgive one another? And as usual, don't think it has become a routine now that I'm always starting with you, <laughs> Brother Tunde. But let me come back to you. It says here, forgiveness is a command from God. What do you have to say? Yeah, uh, I want to say that um, forgiveness, according to the scripture, hmm. in Luke 17, verse 3 to 4, hmm. forgiveness is a commandment hmm. from God. Hmm. And what does it mean? It means that you have been instructed. Hmm. You have been instructed by God to forgive. Hmm. So it's, it's not also, optional. It's not optional. Hmm. Looking at it from your own angle or personal feeling, it might not be easy. Mm. Considering the odds hmm. and the offenses, hmm. it might not be easy. Hmm. But the Lord has commanded that we should forgive. Okay. So we have to. Mm. And the grace is available. You can okay. go now. Yes. You, you're making more sense to yes. me now. The grace is available. It's available. So okay. you need to go back to God and tell God, mm. be sincere with God. Say, God, this person has hurt me. Mm. God knows, mm. and it's difficult for me to forgive. Mm. But help me, O oh mm. Lord, by your Spirit to forgive. Help and God me. will help you to help do so. me, O oh God, God, to forgive. Thank you very much, Brad, today for, for that uh, explanation. Now, Sister Joe, it says here, it is a condition for answered prayer by God. Mm -hmm. Forgiveness. It's yes. a condition. What yes. do you have to say about that? I want to say that, um, for example, in Matthew 5, where they said that if you, you are bringing a gift to the altar, mm -hmm. and you remember mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. you, you, uh, someone wrongs you mm -hmm. or your brother, you have mm -hmm. to leave that gift there and go back. It means mm -hmm. that God will not receive your offering until you until have dealt with it. Have dealt with it. Mm -hmm. So it's a key mm -hmm. for answering. For answering. So which means, as important as your gift is, your offering is, mm -hmm. if you have grudge against somebody god will not accept it that's what we say to our sister joe so our viewers our viewers are told i mean this is mouthful sister joe mm. has said it now we all give offering we all give gift and wada wada which means you must give it from a pure heart yeah. god bless you thank you very much yeah. for saying sir, that yes, can sir? i just chip in something please do sir um uh, apart from being an entrance to prayers mm. is an entrance to your worship Wow, I like that. It's an I like that. to your worship. Good. Because when you leave your house on Sunday mm. or during the week, you are going into mm. the house of God to mm. worship mm. and to present a gift mm. before God. Mm. And the Bible says, if you know mm. that someone offends you, mm. not that you offend, offend somebody. someone, somebody offends, offends you, you mm. then you should settle the score, mm. forgive mm. before presenting before your present. offering. And this will take us to the families. Mm. Sometimes, Husband and wife, they do have quarrels yeah. on Sunday morning. Mm. Oh, you, we are getting late. You are getting late. And you are, I can relate to that. And you are angry. And then you say, okay, when we come back, we will, we will continue. And then what the whole day, you go back to church, the offering, your service is not acceptable mm. because you have postponed the, 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 the quarrel, the quarrel till after service. So it's better. So quickly, mm. okay, darling, I'm sorry, let's go. Okay, you are getting Let's forget about this. Yes, yeah. let's go and worship and you said to this so that you are watching i think we also need to we also need to talk to our women they take time eh? they will take about an hour just to do their things yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, then it's part of who they are that's who they are then that means we have to give wake up early to, to but no matter how you wake up how early you wake up they are still anyway let's not go let's, into that let's, let's, let's go back tomorrow. now since joe i'm sure now you you're feeling somebody talking about us don't mind us now it says here since joe that no let me go back to brad today still on you brad today it says here it is the one who forgives that okay you've talked about that mm -hmm. it says it helps us to gain our brethren i think sister joe oh, actually so. said said that so let's leave that mm -hmm. now since joe let me come back to you mm -hmm. and i'm going to categorize these uh, three together mm -hmm. because we need to take another break quickly mm -hmm. it says here that unforgiveness leads to bitterness mm -hmm. and in turn result in mm -hmm. ill health 
just as you said earlier, it says unforgiveness opened the door to demonic attack. You said that earlier as well. And lastly, it says forgiving one another is a condition for us to make heaven. I th we've spoken about this, but just summarize these three points together. Yes, as I said earlier, unforgiveness will put you into prison. Hmm. And in that prison, you have stress. And we know that these days, people are, are dying of heart attack, mm. you know? Because they put Pressure too much. Because they have too much in mm. their heart. So we need to forgive to release our heart, mm. to feel free, to mm. free ourselves first, then mm. to free the other person. Mm. And also, unforgiveness cuts that relationship, that fellowship mm. with God. And it's open doors. To, to, to malice, you know, mm. you start keeping it into your heart. We know the stories of David and, yeah, and, 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 and Saul. Saul. Mm. We know what happened Maybe because Saul kept it in his heart. Mm. So we need to let go and be free so mm. that our answer, we can receive answers to our yeah. prayers. So what we're actually saying here this morning is that unforgiveness is an impediment. Mm. Yes. It can hinder us it can. to go to heaven yeah. to receive from God, yeah. for answered prayer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even I like the one Sister Joe said, now, which we need to think about a lot, mm -hmm. that it can cause ill health. health. It can affect, we also quoted it earlier, that mm -hmm. a broken spirit dries up the bone. We need to be very, very careful. We're going to take another short break, and when we come back, we will look at the evidences of forgiveness. Please, our viewers at home, I need you to pray along with us, and I need you to start praying in your heart of any impediments that can hinder you to forgive one another. And brother, today added to it earlier by saying that it's not that you offended somebody, but you perceive, you know that somebody offends you, which is not even your fault. You still have to go and clear it before God in your heart, before your worship can be acceptable unto God. Thank you very much for, for spending this time with us. Let's just take another commercial break quickly and we'll be right back. Stay right where you are. God bless you. Most of the time, we need a session of prayers privately in a quiet and sacred place without any form of interruption. Be it a group prayer, personal prayer session, family prayer session, whichever. Now you can have your own time, space and chance to talk to your Creator without any disturbance at the Mount Carmel Prayer Village, which is situated at Okeso along Ife Road, Ifewara, Oshun State. Don't bother about accommodation. There are different forms of accommodation we have for you. There is a two-bedroom flat, chalet which is a room and a parlor, single room, dormitory, conference hall, sanctuary, prayer hall, prayer hut and 12 disciples. All these are available at affordable prices. For more inquiries, visit www.mtcamelprayer.com. You can send an email to mtcamelprayerv at gmail.com. You can also call plus 234-815-877-8513. Psalms 107 verse 28 to 30. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and He delivered them from their distress. He made the storm be still, and the waves of the sea were hushed. Then they were glad that the waters were quiet, and He brought them to their desired heaven. Prayer is the master key.
that from that short break to our viewers at home once again for those of you just joining us right now i say a very good blessed happy new year to you you're welcome into the year 2017 a glorious year a beautiful year i pray that this year be prosperous unto you in jesus name Amen. thank you very much for spending this time with us for allowing us to come into your home and and revealing unto you the topic that is set before us today forgiving one another mm. just before we went we went on break we were talking about why should i forgive one another why should i forgive those who wrought me who who caused me pain who caused me anger who caused me all those things and our guests in the studio they really really highlighted to us the reasons we should learn to forgive one another the one that struck me the most is what sister joe said by saying that it can cause ill health that is it can cause sickness mm. thank you very much now I come back to you, brother Tundi. As you know, it's, it's become a, a, a routine now. <laughs> I'll start with you again. It says, if truly you had forgiven, mm. you will not seek for revenge. Revenge, yes. What does that yeah, mean? It means that if you have truly forgiven, mm -hmm. you will not only let go, mm -hmm. but you will take a step mm. to reconcile the relationship. Mm. That's what it means. Because when you, when, when you are vengeful, mm. what it, it, uh, when you are vengeful, it means that you want to hurt the person. Mm. You want to uh, maybe take other alternative means to show, to hurt him. To show your grievance mm. against the person. Mm. But one of the evidence of, of, of forgiveness, forgiveness is that once the person realizes uh, 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 the problem and asks for forgiveness, you let go mm. and take a step to restore mm. the relationship. Mm. Look at the case of Esau mm. and Jacob. Wow, I like that. Yes, I like that. in the book of Genesis 45, mm. Jacob took the blessings of Esau. Mm. But uh, when Jacob was going back from Bethel, mm. he realized he was going to pass through Edom. <laughs> and he knew that <laughs> he will show him had 400 <laughs> chariots <laughs> waiting for him he went to god that's why i'm saying that mm. there is nothing god cannot mm. do he went to god and said god i'm mm. going through edom mm. and esau is it's there, there. Mm. lord help me mm. and god helped jacob mm. before jacob got there he god has melted the heart of mm. esau his mm. heart was already melted mm. he has already forgiven mm. so mm. that heart mm. in that person's heart can be healed by God. By God. I have a, a, a personal testimony, but because of our time, mm. except I'm allowed, mm. I can. I would have loved to share it. Please do. Yeah. Maybe you can just uh, short it. So a yeah. So we. I had a business transaction with someone. Mm. We had an agreement long time ago, mm. and uh, we uh, when money started rolling in. Maybe some of you mm. you've had that experience. He said we had no such agreement, though it wasn't written down. It was mm. verbal. It was verbal. Christian brother, based on understanding. But along the line, I was so hot, and I felt, ah, this is too much for me. But along the line, I, I forgave him, but I didn't go to him. I said, I'm forgiving you. Everybody to your tent, O Israel. Until one day, I was preparing to go to where his office is, and God said, go to that man. The Spirit of God said, go to that man. I said, why should I go? Go. And you know what? I went there and uh, I said, well, I, I came because the Lord wants me to be here. He was so happy. Mm. That means he also wanted the relationship mm. to come back, to be restored. To be restored. Mm. So he was so happy and mm. we restored the relationship. Amen. So yeah. vengeance Belongs to, belongs to God and mm -hmm. avenging yourself will not solve away. the problem. Mm -hmm. You can restore that I relationship. Mm -hmm. I want to and, come in. Mm -hmm. uh, avenging yourself will not even make you happy. Yes. Mm -hmm. It will not make you happy. That is actually yes. wickedness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It will not make you happy. happy. While when you reconcile with your friend or your mm -hmm. brother, you mm -hmm. know, that happiness is there. there. You know, every time you see your, your, your friend or your brother, Amen. you are happy Amen. to see that person. Amen. So that means, Brother Tunde, what yeah. you, what we're actually talking about today, it's something that you have a personal experience. Yes, yeah. I, I did. No wonder you're able I to did. articulate yourself well. Thank I you did. very much. Yeah. The Lord bless you for saying that. Now, since Joe, I want to take these two uh, points together. It says, evidence of forgiveness is that you will show love and pray for your offender. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can imagine somebody that offends you, you're still praying for them. Then secondly, it says, you will not keep the record of wrongdoing. 
Yes. Uh, you will show love, you know. Even Jesus showed love to you. So why <laughs> wouldn't you show love to the other? <laughs> you know? So you will show love, you will pray for that person. We know the case of Stephen. Mm. Even at the mm. point of death, mm. as they were stoning yeah. him, he still so, prayed for them. Yeah, do he not still charge this against them. them. And I think that is what I've used for my father. I prayed for him and God gave me the grace to go and mm. meet with him. Mm. And now peace, the peace of God reigns with our sister. Amen. 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 And That's I wanted good. to say something. The mm. evidence is that you stop talking about it. Because the more you talk mm. about well, it, the, bringing it up, you know, mm. the it, memory, the memory will, be will be there. Mm. So if you let go, mm. don't talk about it, don't share it with people. Like okay. this is what he okay. did. To yes, me. yes. So just let go, forget about it, and God will help but you. But why don't we look at it this way? But we have to be careful how we do it because sometimes mm -hmm. when you talk about it, it, it becomes like a therapy. Mm -hmm. But what we shouldn't do is what you said now that don't go and gossip it exactly. with That's somebody else. Yeah. When you say it out, I mean, obviously, remember we human mm -hmm. beings. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it hurts us badly when you talk, you say it say out it. once and for all. Not yeah. you say it repeatedly. Yeah. You understand? It's a therapy. It will heal you of that wound and let bygone be bygone. Thank you very much I for that. I wanted to say this. When I say don't talk about it, it means that when you see the person, don't say, this is what you did in 1929. Yes. So just <laughs> let it go <laughs> are, um, are, and okay. build your relationship. Which is what a brother yes. today went, went yes. through. Yes. You went to that person because so it's off your yes. heart and the, the fellow and was the, happy and to the relationship. Yes. Continue. Continue. So there is no more heal feeling. Amen. So I can see the person and we greet each hearts. other. Mm -hmm. Not that I will see him and walk mm -hmm. the other way. Oh, you, you understand? It may be difficult to mm -hmm. practice, but mm -hmm. let us ask, as Bratuni said earlier, let us yes. seek the face of God so that we will be able to live with it. When we see them, as Sister Joe said, when we see them, we don't say, look at you. It's coming this way, it's going the other yeah. way. That means it can, I mean, some people have slept and they don't wake up mm. because of all these things they carry in their heart. May that not be our portion in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, Brother Tunde, I want to stay with you here. Mm -hmm. It says here, well, let me ask you this question, Brother Tunde. Do you think, based on the testimony you shared, do you think it would be ideal for us to take our neighbors to court? Mm. Be more practical this time around. <laughs> Uh, looking at our environment hmm. where everything is legal, hmm. you have le legal aids, <laughs> you have, uh, the, there's justice all around <laughs> us. Uh, uh, looking at it from a normal point of view, you would want to take somebody to court if there's a problem from the normal point of view. But we are now saying as a child of, of God. God as a child of God, the Bible encourages us that we should reconcile mm -hmm. amicably. I like that. He word. said we should, we can bring in matured people. Mm -hmm. We should settle out of court. Mm -hmm. We should settle as much as possible. As possible. Settle before mm -hmm. going to court. Jesus mm -hmm. said, settle before with your adversary. Uh, yes, before mm -hmm. going to court. And if you're already in court, you can still settle yeah, out, out of, of court, court yeah. amicably. Mm -hmm. So that you, you, you know, even going to court, waste, there's a lot of energy waste, mm -hmm. a lot of time waste, money. no money wasted, mm -hmm. you, you can't even sleep at night. Mm -hmm. When there's time to go, you are thinking about what the judge will say. Mm -hmm. So why not call Just people mm. and do uh, 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 resolve it mm. peaceful resolution or maybe if, even if you have to if you have to call some other people to people. come and mediate yeah, over mediate this matter over this matter but now the bible yeah. says to us that even after you have gone to him mm. and he still refused to listen to you he refuses to listen to the elders mm. what should you now do if the only method the only thing i cannot do is to involve the authorities yeah well if uh, there are two ways to it mm -hmm. if you if it's uh uh you are the one uh mm -hmm. if you are the one uh not at fault if okay. you are the one that has been offended okay. then you can let go as a child of god okay. you can forgive you can forgive but if you are the offender and the person decides to take you to court and uh, you can also mediate okay. bringing people but if the person being an unbeliever or another christian still insists 
on taking you, you to court, then you have to okay. allow the law to take, to take and seek counsel okay. so Very that well. things will be done Very according well. to the law. Do Very not well. take laws into, into your, your hands. Hand. Okay. Thank you very much for that. Unfortunately, how I wish we could really continue mm. on this topic, but our time has finally come to an end. But just before we go, I want to give Sister Joy about another 20 seconds just to highlight on the topic of today. We must forgive. 10 seconds. We must forgive. It's a command from our Lord. Mm. If we want to make heaven, forgive and mm. forget. Mm. True forgiveness will show some evidence. Of course, you 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 change you will change in your behavior and mm, it will rest attitude. and mm. your attitude and you will gain your brother back, you will yeah. gain your sister you back. Gain. You know, mm. you will rebuild your relationship with your brother and, mm. and it will not break your relationship with God with and God. you will receive yes. answers to your Amen. prayers. Amen. Amen. Thank you very, very much for that. Our guest in the studio, we greatly appreciate the time we've spent with us this morning and I pray that every word we have spoken this morning, every virtue that has gone out of you this morning to really encourage our viewers at home, God of heaven will replenish in Jesus. Amen. Just in conclusion to our viewers at home on this topic, how to forgive one another. It says here that what a beautiful place the world will be if we all forgive ourselves of offenses. As beloved children of God, we should show good examples, especially as God has commanded us. Brother Tunde alluded to that earlier and that it's a command, it's an instruction from God that we should learn to forgive. And Sister Joe made example of that uh, prodigal son who went back to his father and his father restored him. He forgave him. You too, no matter how difficult it may be, learn to forgive those who offend you. Even you yourself, if you've offended anybody, go to them and ask for forgiveness. And God of heaven will grant you the grace to do so in Jesus' name. Remember, Today is the 1st of January 2017, a year we've never lived in before. So put a different approach to perspective of, of, of this year. Seek the face of God. All those that offended you in 2016 and latter years, ask God to give you the grace to forgive them or those you yourself have of offended the grace to go back to them remember we spoke about restitution if you need to restitute in any way do so restitute and god of heaven will bless you in jesus name Amen. now our viewers at home i believe we have been blessed this morning the topic of today has really really added value to your life if you still want to you like to know more about this topic or you like to visit uh, you like you like to know more about us please visit visit us on facebook our facebook address is rccg sunday school facebook address rccg sunday school and also if you would like to watch this broadcast again perhaps you want to use it as part of your home cell or house fellowship material you want to play so that others can learn as well please feel free to visit us to log on onto, you, uh, onto YouTube and the address is RTM TV World. RTM TV World. You can log in there at any time, a point in time or you can even forward this link address to, to your friends to go and watch in the comfort of their home. And God of heaven will bless you in Jesus' name. Last but not the least, also, if you have any suggestion you would like to pass across to us or perhaps a comment or perhaps a testimony how God has delivered you from this topic we're talking about how God has really opened your eyes of understanding in order to forgive other people please feel free to write to us our email address is sunday school at redemption tm.tv sunday school at redemption tm.tv and we're looking forward we're standing by to hear from you thank you very much the god of heaven will bless you richly. The grace for you to forgive and forget. And we're not talking about the TV program, but we're speaking directly to you this morning. Learn to forgive and to forget so that you can make heaven. And as you do so, God of heaven will bless you. Remember, this is 2017. Do something differently this year. Jesus loves you and so do we. Till we meet again next week. Shalom. Shalom.